Hey you guys, what's up? Jake here. Today I got a little Cinema 4D tutorial for you. This is going to be a little tutorial on how to cache your dynamic animations in Cinema 4D so that if you're trying to preview them, it is uh, lag free and you can uh, just keep scrolling through them without having to have any difficulty. So basically what we're going to want to do is start off is let's just grab a floor and a sphere and we're going to right click on the floor and give it a collider body tag we're going to zoom out a bit and we're going to drag the sphere up and give it a soft body tag so now if we just hit play our sphere drops down does its little animation but if we scroll back nothing happens until we go back to zero then it resets so we can't really see what happens between the start of it and the end of it and that can get really annoying especially if, a, if you have a really large animation that you're working with so uh, this is actually even more uh, annoying if you have multiple objects so if we just create an array here of all of these spheres we drag it up and if I hit play now that is not at 30 frames per second. That is really laggy. It just doesn't look nice at all. And yeah, so so that sucks. Um, so what we're going to want to do is there's a couple of ways of going about this. You could right click on object and add a MoGraph cache tag. But honestly, the easiest way that I found to do it is to just click on the tag that you want to cache. And then there will be a bunch of tabs up here. Click on cache and just click bake and what it'll do is it will bake a uh, the render for you oh, I should have done this on 420 man get baked <laughs> but uh, so basically now if you scroll through the timeline and you scroll back it will have it all pre um, animated for you so that if you hit play it will go at what it is supposed to run at and this just makes it a lot easier because now you can you can cache different objects instead of just having the whole scene cached so you can go and edit separate things without having to redo everything um, and the reason why I'm making this tutorial is that a project I'm actually working on right now um, I had to do this and <laughs> the project's almost done rendering it's pretty funny it's it's really weird kind of sexual that's that was most of all I'll say but yeah thank you guys for watching this tutorial Hopefully I'll have more videos out soon. Been pretty busy, but I should be mellowing out in my schedule pretty soon. So yeah, thank you guys for watching one last time. I will see you guys in the next video. See ya.